Okay, this is, uh, I know you guys know Fat Cat Skinny Cat. <laughs> They've had Fat Cat Skinny Cat drilled in. But uh, for me, because I can't remember uh, diddly squat, so I have to think about ways to think about assessments for calcium, and then I have another one for potassium. But this is Fat Cat Skinny Cat. It's not, it's not in, in this book, but uh, this is what I tell people. When uh, I live on a farm in, uh, in Middle Tennessee, and people, for some reason, tend to think that if you live on a farm, then um, you want stray animals dumped on you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'd have to say, I do have the greatest uh, chocolate lab that somebody dumped uh, on our farm. So I guess, you know, I can't be, plus a whole yard of barn cats. So when these cats get dumped on our farm at first, uh, they are skinny cat. They're... Um, they're hungry. You know, nobody's been feeding them milk, and they're hungry, and they're skinny, and they're mean, and they're irritable. And that is somebody who is hypocalcemic. They don't have enough milk. You can kind of think of it. Those, fo those people, the assessments that you are going to make is they're tense, they're irritable, so hyperreflexic. You know, my boys will try to sneak up on those cats, especially when they were younger, and pick them up, you know, and they would get even remotely close to that cat, and the cat would eek, right? It would tense up and the hair up on the back, and, you know, it would just be ready, ready for action, hyperreflexic. So tense, hyperreflexic. Tetany, so tense to the point of tetany. Bradycardia, what do we know about calcium? Everybody act like I just gave you a calcium channel blocker. <laughs> so bradycardia, there's no oomph because we're hypocalcemic. So bradycardia. Uh, I put calcium, I put uh, both units. So you see them both ways. So it may be the four to five milli equivalents per liter. Uh, sometimes calcium can be reported in milligrams per deciliter. It really depends on what your lab does. Um, and honestly, I'm not sure what NCLEX will do. So I would imagine milliequivalents per liter is kind of the standard, and everything else is reported in milliequivalents per liter. <coughs> but just in case, we'll, we'll have the other one. Notice it's about double, though. So if you remember four to five milliequivalents per liter for calcium, and then you double it, it'll get you in the ballpark. It'll get you so that you can answer questions. Okay, now, so that's, that's skinny cat. Does everybody have the assessments for skinny cat? So just think about him. Hungry, he's irritable, he's tense. Okay? That's skinny cat. Now, after they've been on our farm for a little while, and my boys have gotten a hold of them, and, you know, I'm wondering where all the milk's going because I'm going to the store every you know, day to get gallons of milk because there's no milk in my refrigerator. Well, that's because this has gone to feed the cat. <laughs> so now we have fat cat. Now, this cat does not have an irritable bone in its body, right? These cats are so happy that they found our farm because my boys, next thing I know, you know, these cats are fattening up. My boys are throwing them over their shoulder and walking around with them. You know, they're, they're laying out on the front porch in the sun. They're drowsy. So that's fat cat. Decreased LOC. You know, just laying out in the sun, sleeping. It's all cool. They're happy cats. So everything's slowing down, CNS depression. Cardiac-wise, for hypercalcemia, at first, so somebody's hypercalcemic, but it's, it's, it's in the low uh, high, high end of normal, you know, so they're hypercalcemic, but it is um, maybe, you know, the level is at um, six milliequivalents per liter. So they're just barely. 
that person we're going to be looking for increased cardiac contraction and maybe some, some tachycardia because we've got more oomph, right? They're hypercalcemic, so we've got more oomph. Now, if we don't pick up on these symptoms and it becomes worse, they are actually going to get bradycardia because then what happens is the calcium has to be able to drop down into those channels for the oomph. But if you get all this calcium out here, it, they all kind of run into each other. It's like two guys trying to go through a door together, you know, nobody can get in because they're blocking the channel. So if you get too much calcium, it ends up, they end up with bradycardia because nobody can get in the channels. But early on, there's going to actually be a little more oomph. So maybe a little stress on the heart. So fat cat, skinny cat, uh, if it helps you remember signs and symptoms, good. If it doesn't, you know, you can let it go. <laughs>